Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Aerosounds and today we're going to be doing another video on budget Hearthstone decks for 2017. Today's video focuses on the Warlock, which is one of my favourite classes behind Paladin. It's a very strong class due to its hero power. I think the hero power is probably the strongest in the game. It does two damage to your face, but you draw a card. So this deck kind of really plays into that. So this deck's a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones that we've looked at. It does cost 1460 dust to create. However, this is a deck that you can scale up or down depending on how much dust you've got available. So when you have a look at the deck, you can see the list on the left hand side. If there's anything in there that you can't quite afford or you're not quite sure about, it's quite easy to take them out and replace them with other low cost minions that you do have. Um, so basically this deck just wants to have lots of low cost minions that it can play onto the board that can be buffed by other minions within the deck. Cards that are key to it and kind of form the whole strategy of the deck though are the Direwolf Alpha, we've spoken about this card before, but that gives your adjacent minions plus one attack. It works really well with low cost minions because then you can then buff them and increase their, their power on the board. The second card is the Knife Juggler. Now this is a a very powerful card. It's an old one and it's actually been nerfed in the past. It used to be a three um, three attack, two health minion, but they reduced it to two attack and two health because it was too powerful. So how this card works is if it's on your board and you play another minion, the knife juggler will instantly throw a knife at a random enemy target. So it can hit the enemy's face, but it can also hit the enemy's minions. This is really important with your cards because you've got lots of low cost, cost minions. So you can play this on turn three two mana and you've got one mana left over to play a one mana minion and throw a knife as well and it can be really important for removing the opponent's cards that they've already got on the board. It also synergizes really well with Forbidden Ritual. So Forbidden Ritual it uses up all of your mana and summons that many 1-1 tentacles. So if you've got a knife juggler on the board and you have five mana you play this card you summon five 1-1 tentacles and throw five random knives at the opponent which can be really devastating. So that's the knife juggler, really important. Definitely craft that and put it in the deck. It works in lots of other decks as well, so I would recommend having it if you if you don't already. Also, the the next card is that's really important is the Darkshire Councilman. Now, what happens with this is every time you summon a minion, it gains plus one attack. And the advantage of this is it, it only starts at a, a one attack and five health card. But but if you can play this for three mana, five health on the turn three is really powerful so if the opponent can't move it and then you start playing all of your low cost minions this can quickly snowball into something that the opponent can't deal with so i won quite a lot of matches just by putting this card down um, on turn two so if you've got the, the coin play this on turn two with with your coin it can be really difficult for the opponent it also synergizes re synergizes really well with forbidden ritual like i mentioned before but also any of the other cards also important to note for both the Knife Juggler and the Darkshire Councilman, minions with Death Rattle, so the Possessed Villager and also the, the Egg Napper, when those are on the board, if they die and summon uh, their Death Rattle minions, when those minions get summoned, it also triggers the effects of your Darkshire Councilman and your Knife Juggler. You can see if you get these things on the board, it can really pile up the pressure on the opponent. So another card that I've put into the deck, which I think is powerful in this, this deck, is the Ravenous Pterodax. So what this does is it has a battle cry where it destroys one of your minions, but then you can adapt this card twice. So again, it's only four mana, you get a four four uh, body, but because of the rest of the way this deck sets up, you're more than likely it's gonna have a one one minion on the board that you can kill with this Pterodax and then adapt twice. And on turn four, if you get two really strong adapts, perhaps the plus three attack, wind fury, well you can adapt it to the situation but wind fury works really well a lot of the time uh, in this deck. It can be really hard for the opponent to counter and all you've sacrificed is one of your really low cost minions. That's quite a good one. Also important to put in the deck I think is the doom guard. So if you haven't got this card I would recommend crafting it because for warlock I think it's an important card um, for the class. But what it does is it has charge with a battle cry of a discard two cards from your hand. So the battle cry is extremely, has a huge downside. It's um, 
not something you want to do. However, in this deck, because you've got so many low-cost minions, the likelihood is you're not going to have any cards in your hand. You've already played all your, your ones and twos, you're on the board, you can play this, and if you've got no other cards in your hand, there's no downside, you just get a 5-7 with charge, and that can be really important, firstly for hitting the opponent's face and causing that final damage that's required, also secondly, um, it can be used to potentially remove any large taunt minions that the opponent's got. As I would say that's probably one of the downsides of this deck is that it's, it's difficult to get rid of big minions on the opponent's side because often your cards are quite low cost and you don't really want to be using your buffs for anything other than hitting the opponent's face because that minion, because once you've attacked another minion it will probably die. But to counter that as well, there isn't any AoE in this deck so it is, that is a downside but to counter it, there is, I have put in also the soul fire. I only put one copy of this in because I don't necessarily like the discard or a random card downside but what that does is it just deals you four direct damage either for minion removal or that final damage you need on the opponent's face. So if you do have one of these unless you there's a particularly difficult minion that the opponent's got on the board I would hold it in your hand until you need that final damage to, to do it to the opponent's face because you don't necessarily want to be discarding Anyway, this, as I mentioned before, this, this deck can also be scaled up, so there's a number of cards which are excluded to try and keep the cost down as much as I could. So if you do have some gold or dust left over and you want to try and add some more cards into the deck, let me know in the comments so I'll um, give you some advice on which cards I would add. Also, if there are cards that you're struggling to find, let me give you alternatives to that as well. And I hope you enjoy the deck, guys. It should be a pretty solid one on Okay, so the first game is against Hunter. Now, when picking your cards uh, for your opening hand, um, this is not a good start. So I want as many low-cost cards as I can. Because this deck's got so many low-cost cards, if you ever get a high-cost one, it's worth just discarding, um, discarding them in the mulligan phase. There we go, that's much better. This um, Argent Squire is a very, very good one to play on your first turn. It's also quite a good one, but yeah, let's do this. Hopefully, he hasn't got any uh, damage, one damage to do to that flame imp. Nope, that's a perfect turn for us. Excellent. So you can already see the pressure that we're putting on him. We haven't even got our buff cards yet. Any of the uh, cards that buff our minions. Plus, once these cards run out, we've got a hero power to keep it keep it turning. Hmm. Okay, that's that was fortunate for him. But we have um, so. Yeah, I'm going to do this. So unfortunately this will discard that card. But it gets him uh, his big taunt minion out of the way. It's always nice to play that card when your hand is empty because then you don't lose any cards. But in this case it was, it was right for me to do that. Um, okay, I'd rather tap and get a different card. That's excellent. A bit like this. I fight. I fight. Let's see how low his health is already. That's fine. Ooh, look at that. 
lucky. Oh, that's really bad for us. Well, that's good though. That's really unfortunate that, that he got that from his dual McCaw as well. I'm going to use this just because um, otherwise he would kill it with that. I fight. I think that's fine. Hopefully he hasn't got it. Oh, there. That's exactly what I thought. Oh, no. That card's dangerous for us, guys. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Okay, that helps. I fight. Why do you go? His health is so low though, but I'm really worried about that hyena, scavenging hyena. I let the oh. How has he got these draws? We started so well. He gets Wind Fury. Oh. Mm. We need a Doom Guard. Okay. So what does plus three health do here? That's quite good actually. Wind Fury is great of course, but I'd rather keep it alive. I might just do this, you know. We just need to keep it alive until we can, because this next turn is really good. I can put this down, then that, and this goes up. Every time you summon a minion, his attack goes up. So worried about. Oh no! He's gonna win, I think, guys. What a disaster! If we lose this, come on, I just need some direct damage. No. Okay, we lose. Oh, we don't necessarily lose. If we can get three juggles at his, uh, at his face, we can win. I'm going to have four. I'm not going to. It's not going to work. Put this apple on your head. We hit his face. No. <laughs> Two damage short, guys. That is a nightmare. He just had like a really good, he had a really good hand. But you can see the, the mechanics of the deck from that game. Gul'dan versus Maev. None can escape my fury. Your soul shall be mine. Oh, I'm going to keep this hand. That's a very good hand. I'd like to play the Darkshire Councilman on turn two. So I'm not going to use my coin. Because if we can start snowballing that, he's going to find it very difficult. Might, he's probably playing quest rogue, maybe? Okay, so he is. So we'll see how we fare. We should be. We should do okay about against this. Doom Guard as well is a very good card for us to have at this moment. Because once we get to turn five, that could be our finisher. I submit you. Okay. It's interesting. <laughs> Unless he's planning on bringing that back. <laughs> I'm a child. 
Okay, he's had a pretty good start so far. Knife juggler. Put this apple on your head. Excellent. That was a brilliant juggle there. Not sure whether I should have gone face there. Oh no. Okay, that's okay. Seriously? He's probably got another fan of knives, that means. But anyway, let's do this. Adapt this thing, actually. He doesn't have fan of knives again. Okay, that's fine. You can see already the dangers of, of this card. Okay. Right, so we need to make sure these die so he can't take them back to his hand. That is a perfect juggle there. I'm going to kill this because I want to lose one of my minions. So that I can play this other wolf. Um. Really sure of the placement here, but... Nice. It's going to be difficult for him, but we'll see what he's got. got a... He does have a lot of cards in his hands, though. But those knife juggles just helped us no end. See? All those cards on the board. I put the pressure on early by making my um, Darkshire Councilman as well. So even though I never attacked with it because he froze, he still had to use his freezes on that one minion so I could build the rest of my board. Gul'dan versus Uther. I will fight with honor. Your soul shall be mine. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand actually. I've got a 1, 2, and a 3. And I should be able to use that too with these. Um, these others. Coin as well. Ooh, that's very nice. Do I play that first? What what could he possibly have on two mana? This is slightly risky. I'm hoping he hasn't got anything decent to play. Because he's only got two mana. There's nothing he's got that can kill that that I can think of right now. For duty. Now I can play two minions and I get two knives to try and kill that. Get it out. Get it out. Excellent. And on turn three, I'll play this. Because this death rattle summons a minion. So that will have two. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, but. Play that. Oh, he might have Consecration next turn. Which case these will die so anyway. Many possibilities. <laughs> Good, we got one on there. I fight. Almost out of time. See what happens.
If he's got a consecration, that's really good for him, but oh he hasn't. Reporting for duty. Good, okay. Plus one one. Keep it on board. Okay, this is good. Let's uh hmm. Yeah, let's juggle. Let's keep juggling. Hopefully this hits that. Okay. That's fine. If this juggle hits that guy. Amazing. Now this death rattle summons another trigger and and that. Look how powerful our board is, and oh, it's only turn four. He might have a consecration here again. He didn't have it last turn, but okay, that's not too bad. Hmm. God. I wonder why he didn't play that last turn. Unless he just drew it. I don't know, but. I love um... The light protects me. Look how much pressure we're putting on him. Because of this minion. Probably got a big torn I mean. So our hand's empty, which is a struggle, but remember this hero power is, is hugely powerful. And so even though he's reduced that to one, it will still go up every time I summon a minion, so. Now what's the best play here? If I attack that, I've probably got up. I've probably got lead. Don't touch the egg. Yeah, I have got lethal. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> Get it out! Get it out! Just plan. But st still, even no matter what he did, I've still got all this, um, all these minions on the board. It's a really powerful, powerful deck. Gul'dan versus Mayev. None can escape my fury. Your soul shall be mine. Okay, so these two cards are pretty good. Um, I would usually probably mulligan that away, but because I've only got three cards uh, this turn, I haven't got the coin. I'm just and because I've got another one, I'll keep it. I mean that's a that's a perfectly fine card to play next turn, but I was hoping I'd usually prefer to play that when you need to cause a little bit more damage later on in the game, like to get rid of a um I can't do that. Like to get rid of a, a big torrent minion, for example. Definitely gonna play the councilman next turn, I think. Unless depending on what this Ooh. Annoying because he'll want to kill that next turn. Um, yeah, let's do this. He, it's going to take quite a lot for the rogue to do five damage this early. So next turn we can do this and that, and it will get some buffs on there. It's fine. Depending on what card he gets, obviously. See, so he knows. He knows he's got to get rid of it. I don't know what he's kind of... Oh, he's probably got... Yeah. Put this apple on your head. Uh, SI7 agent is the word I'm trying to think of. Get in there and fight, maggot! Get it out! Get it out! <laughs> he's, on, he's, he's on 11 health already. We've got four direct damage, so we only need to do seven more to his face. And a knives, okay. It's rough. It's not enough for him. But we still win. Comfortably win, guys. The light protects me. 
We haven't got time to do this. See how powerful these two cars can be. Priest, okay. See what kind of deck they're playing. So, Soulfire can be good in your opening hand on certain situations, but I always like to get rid of it. Just because um, it discards one of your cards. So I like to get that when my hand is empty. It just and these are two very good draws. Again, which is nice. A priest can kill this with his um, on turn two. Better worth death, but if they haven't got it, they haven't got it. Is someone injured? Okay. Um, I'm going to kill that. Get in there and fight, maggot. Potentially, I shouldn't, but I just don't want him. I just don't want him drawing too many cards. The light protects me. Job's done. Ocean of Madness is really good for him because he can steal one of my minions. Copy of a spell in your deck. Okay, that's, that's fine. Because that's very good. Who do I want to do this? On this these guys, I think. My shield for Argon! Fight! Need to keep keep up the pressure. He's probably. Oh. You win. Well, let the hunt begin. Your soul shall be mine. I'm gonna keep this hand. Get rid of this one. The reason, because I don't want to necessarily play that on two, just because I won't have two minions on the board. Three two on turn one's very powerful. Except that's a very good card for him. Okay, but I can do this. Now when that dies it's going to deal 1 damage to something, but at least by putting the taunt down it protects our 3-2 here, which is important because the 3 attack is, is what big damage is. Mm, okay, that's not too bad, a bit frustrating. So the councilman's good here. I've got to decide whether I want to trade. I think I will. The only reason I did that was because if on turn three, if he's got Unleash the Hounds, it would be a really bad turn for me. Poisonous. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, this isn't great, but I'm gonna do it. So that's poisonous, it would just kill this. Ah, oh, come on. Us losing our Die Wolf Alpha was quite bad, but that's a good draw for us at least. If 
plus one plus one is probably best here. He can kill it, but only if he uses all three of these. He's got two cards, hopefully they're not good ones. That's a very good one for him. <laughs> now I could either do this and summon six one one tentacles. The light protects me. Debatable whether I should have played that card, but Tap. That's very good. My shield for Argon. I fight. This is going to be really close, actually. I think he'll win, to be honest. But these two cards do give me a good chance. Just he's got he's got he'll have so much face damage. Yeah, let's see. Yep, there you go. <laughs> okay, right. Oh, I can't play that. One. That's what I wanted. Into the breach. Um, I'm gonna tap. I just, I just need cards on the board. Do I don't. We, we can't win this one now. His hero power just gets down too quick. But The problem here is if we take one damage on the next turn, we are dead. Which means we have to trade. As you command. To the breach. It takes some kind of a miracle to win here. Another Doom Guard. Greetings, traveller. So we've lost. <laughs> wow. Thanks. 